microbiology unit 1 essentials of microbiology and immunology first let us know about the history of microbiology we all know that microbiology means the study of the small microorganisms or micros which is visible only under the microscope these uh, microorganisms are divided into algae, uh, archaea, bacteria, cyanobacteria, fungi, protozoa and viruses. Uh, most uh, in all of the microorganisms, uh, most of them are harmless. Like 99% are good microorganisms like example cyanobacteria, uh, example blue green algae and some 1% are bad microorganisms example pathogens which uh, in microbiology, it is divided into different eras, discovery era, transition era, golden era, modern era. Next, the contributions. The microbi In microbiology, there are some of the uh, persons who contribute their researches in microbiology. First, let us know about Edward Jenner. He first to prevent my smallpox. The Edward Jenner, he is from the time period of 1749 to 1823 and he is the first one to prevent the smallpox and he discovered the technique of vaccination. Next, Joseph Lister. He is the father of antiseptic surgery and uh, Lister concluded that wound infections too were due to the microorganisms. He also devised a method to destroy microorganisms in the operation theater by spraying a fine mist of carbolic acid in the air. Next, Louis Pasteur. He is the father of medical microbiology. He pointed that no growth took place on spank neck shaped tubes because dust and germs had been trapped on the walls of the curved neck. But if the necks were broken off, so the dust will fell directly into the flask. Microbial growth commenced immediately. Pasher in 1897 suggested that mild heating at 62.8 degrees that is 145 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes rather than boiling was enough to destroy the undesirable organisms without ruining the taste of the product and this process is called as pasteurization. We all know the milk, daily, we, uh, daily used milk in that on that uh, milk packet we can observe that it is a pasteurized milk likewise uh, some of the microorganisms organisms will be killed in that milk he invented the process of pasteurization fermentation and the development of effective vaccines like rabies and anthrax pasteur demonstrated disease of silkworm was due to the protozoan parasite next contributions of louis pasteur he coined the term micro, my, uh, microbiology, aerobic, anaerobic, we all know that aerobic means with oxygen, anaerobic means without oxygen. He disproved the theory of spontaneous generation. Uh, he demonstrated that anthrax was caused by bacteria and also produced the vaccine for the disease. He developed a live attenuated vaccine for the disease. Next, Robert Koch. He uh, his time period was 1893 to 1910. Uh, he demonstrated the role of bacteria in causing diseases. He perfected the technique of isolating bacteria in pure culture. Robert Koch used gelatin to prepare so solid media, but it was not an ideal because since gelatin is a protein, it is digested by many bacteria capable of producing a proteolytic exoenzyme gelatinous that hydrolyzes the protein to amino acids. It melts when the temperature rises about 25 degrees. Next, let us know about some of the groups of microorganisms. Bacteria, fungi, archaea and virus. This is the structure of bacterial cells. The structure of the bacteria cell is completely a simple body design. It is a single cell organized microorganism with the absence of nucleus and some of the other cell organelles and hence it is also classified as a prokaryotic organism. So it has a fascinating feature of, uh, of a protective cell wall which means the cell wall is completely in the function of protection in function and the cell wall is completely made up of a special protein called peptidoglycan. Uh, this particular protein isn't found anywhere except in nature except in the cell walls of the bacteria. 
but few of them bacteria will have don't have any cell wall and other uh, and do have some third production layer called the capsule uh, on the outer layer we can observe the one more flagella and the short hair like structures called pillae on the outer surface of these are the the short hair structures are called as pillae this is the long tail like structure is called the flagella it functions as a locomotory organ uh, this pillae can also help certain bacteria to attach the, some, themselves to the host cells ribosomes are the sites of for, uh, protein synthesis which synthesize the protein in addition to this dna they have an extra circular dna called plasmids these do have plasmids like circular dna is called as plasmid these plasmids make so some strains of bacteria resistance to antibiotics next archaea bacteria this is the structure of archaea bacteria we all uh, archaea bacteria is known to be the oldest living organism in the earth they belong to the kingdom monera and classified as bacteria because they resemble the bacteria when observed under the microscope some in uh, under the microscope we can uh, when we observe archaea their structure mostly resemble about the structure of bacteria apart from this uh, they are completely distinct from prokaryotes however they share slightly some characteristics with the eukaryotes they can easily survive under very harsh conditions such as the bottom of the sea and the vol volcanic vents so this type of microorganism archaebacteria is also called as the extreme of because they can survive in any extreme conditions next characteristics of um, archaebacteria archaebacteria is obligate or facultative anaerobes which can uh, survive without the oxygen uh, and then they undergo methanogenesis which means they can produce the methane gas uh, the cell membranes of uh, archaebacteria is completely composed of lipids the rigid cell walls provide the shape and support to the, of the archaebacteria the cell wall is composed of pseudomerine which prevents the archaebacteria from the effects of lysosome uh, lysosome is an enzyme released by the immune system of the host when uh, which dissolve the cell wall of the pathogenic bacteria these do not uh, possess any some of uh, membrane bound organelles like nuclei endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria lysosomes chloroplast its thick cytoplasm contains all the compounds required for nutrition and metabolism they can live in any environments that we, uh, in the past slide we studied that it can uh, survive in any extreme condition that that's why it is also called as extremophiles uh, they can survive in both acidic and alkaline aquatic region and also in above the boiling point they can withstand a very high pressure of more than 200 atmospheres Archaea bacteria are indifferent towards major antibiotics because they contain plasmids which have antibiotic resistance enzymes. Next virus. These microbes belong to the family Viridae and genus virus. A uh, virus could not be placed in any, uh, some, uh, in any of the kingdom because they are practically neither living nor dead. Uh, the term virus was coined by the Dutch microbiologist Martinus William Bergenich in the year 1879. Uh, 1897. And it is the it is the word virus is derived from the language Latin, which means the poison or venomous substance. These are non-cellular organisms, and do they have enclosed in a protective envelope? The body. These are the spikes around the body, which helps the body to attach to the host cells. These viruses do not grow, do not metabolize, do not respirate, but do but they reproduce um, they are surrounded by a protein coat capsid and have a nucleic acid core comprising a dna or rna inside we can observe the genome genetic material which is like the dna some of some viruses will have dna some have rna likewise uh, they are considered both as living and non-living these viruses are inactive when they are present outside the host, but when, but when it enters into the host cell, it, uh, it is active within the host cell. These viruses can cause several infections and reproduce within the host cell using the enzymes and the raw materials. Next, this is the structure of virus. Next, applications of microorganisms. As food. 
first one mushrooms and morels these are cultivated as if and used as a delicious vegetables we all know the mushrooms uh, species armillaria mele and claveria gigantea and agaricus compastris next as if food yeast import uh, food yeast is a uh, important source for vitamin b and d and it is very important in the baking industries we all know that uh, in bread we are uh, mostly all of them use food use uh, yeast species saccharomyces endomyces rhodotorula and are rich in proteins next in dairy many dairy many saccharophytic bacteria are used in the dairy industry in butter the churning of the cream of the milk is churned with the lactobacillus mm -hmm. and next cheese the milk is uh, curling of milk by the species of streptococcus lactis streptococcus cremoris lactobacillus bulgarius lactobacillus acidophilus lactobacillus plantanum next in baking industry streptococcus cerevisiae mixed with dough to get desired texture and flavor it will add some texture and flavor to the bread next streptococcus lactis and lactobacillus casei it improves the improves the flavor and quality of the bread in industry ephedrine formed it is formed by uh, formed from the benzaldehyde when the benzaldehyde is added with yeast used in the and it is used in the treatment of asthma and the nasal troubles anti tumor drug calvesin obtained from the calvesia gigantea which is a anti tumor drug next steroids it is the um, prepared by the fermentation of plant glycosides by rhizobus nigricans uh, and aspergillus niger which is effective against many diseases next vitamins and enzyme production first one vitamins clostridium estobulum butylicum erythromycin and dash b and these are helpful in synthesis of vitamin b riboflavin and next enzymes amylase proteases and peptidases are uh, prepared from the bacillus subtilis and the antibiotics like drug penicillin is from penicillium notatum and the alcohols by yeast which is used in dyes soaps plastics etc and citric acid aspergillus niger aspergillus venti and saccharomyces glabar produce citric acid by fermenting with the sucrose and molasses next in brewery industry wine is fermented uh, wine is a fermented product and wine fermentation of rice with aspergillus or rice next in industry uh, sorry agriculture like scavengers the breakdown of dead organic matter into inorganic matter with the help of these enzymes which is secretes it next mycorrhiza we all know that uh, uh, mycorrhiza will, will have the symbiotic relationship between the plant and the food and it supplies them with uh, minerals control of insect pest fungi like ascosonia elairodis help in controlling the infection of insect pests of the plants next phytohormone growth promoting substances like gibberellins are synthesized from the fungi like fusarium monifrong and dermatium pullulans in environment microorganisms play an important role in the production of coal and petrol formation uh, the microorganisms which involved in this processes are clostridium perfringens and vibrio desulfuricans next sewage disposal and effluent treatment heavier matter settles down and decomposed by the activity of anaerobic microorganism in activated sludge system rapid decomposition of uh, rapid and complete decomposition of the organic matter by the anaerobic organisms which produce the methane gas and it is used for the electro electricity next decomposition of dead organisms microorganism break down the organic matter into inorganic when it does it increases the soil fertility and the substances are used by the plant nutrients and it will be recycled next the immunity immunity is a defense mechanism of multicellular organism that fights that fights against the pathogens which is the for like foreign bodies uh, pathogens or disease causing microorganisms such as bacteria viruses and fungi antigens present on the surface of pathogens trigger the immune response in the body cells of immune system 
there are uh, some cells of immune system like uh, first one macrophage this is the structure of the macrophage where it, the percentage of adults in it varies and the uh, nucleus also varies the functions it uh, helps in phagocytosis antigen presentation to T cells the lifetime months two years and the main targets are various there are number of like next to neutrophils this is the structure of the neutrophil and it is present about 40 to 75 percent it is multi lobed we can observe these are several lobes are present almost five lobes are present we can see like it the nucleus will be the multi lobed and these are functions are phagocytosis degranulation which means the discharge of the contents of a cell uh, its lifetime about the six hours to few days next uh, their main targets are bacteria and the fungi next is snowfills this is the structure of the snowfills in adults we can observe one to six percentage it is bilobed nucleus and the function is degranulation and the release of the enzymes growth factors and cytokinesis uh, its lifetime is about eight to twelve days next it main target is parasites and various allergic tissues this is the basophil and the structure of basophil it is present uh, less than the one percent and the nucleus will be the bi or trilobed and the functions are degranulation release of histamine enzymes uh, cytokinesis and uh, it is the lifetime of uh, uncertain likely a few hours various allergic tissues the its main target Next, the mast cells. This is the structure of the mast cell. It is commonly present in the tissues, and the nucleus will be in central and the single lobed. This is the single lobed nucleus is present. The function is the degranulation and the release of histamines, enzymes, cytokines, and it uh, the lifetime of the cell is to month to years. It varies. Uh, the main targets are the parasites and various allergic uh, tissues. Lymphocytes, also called as T cells this is the structure of lymphocyte it is a uh, uh, in adults it will uh, almost 20 to 40 percent in adults the nucleus will be deeply stained we can observe the nucleus is more uh, deeply stained than the cytoplasm next functions T th cells immune response mediator cytotoxic cells cell destruction and the lifetime is weeks to years and the main targets are the intercellular bacteria uh, virus infected and tumor cells and natural killer cells like virus infected and tumor cells next monocyte this is the structure of the monocyte it is present in two to six percent in the adults it uh, looks like a bean shaped we can also in this is the structure of the monocyte is mostly in the kidney shaped nucleus and next it function is differentiate into microphases and dendritic cells to elicit an immune response the lifetime of this myonocyte is hours to days and uh, the main targets are various natural killer cells uh, this, this is the natural killer uh, structure almost 15 uh, percent varies of circulating lymphocytes and tissues and the nucleus will be single lobed and the main function is tumor rejection destruction of infected cell release of perforin and the granzymes which induce aptosis uh, the lifetime will be the 7 to 10 days and the viruses and tumor cells its main target next these are the organs of immune system in a human body we do have uh, organs which uh, give responses to the immune system this is the tonsils and the adeno adenoids and here these are the lymph nodes this is the lymphatic vessels thymus gland these are the lymph nodes present under the body this is the spleen this is the pace patches and this one is the appendix this is the bone marrow and here lymph nodes and these are the lymphatic vessels these are the organs of the immune system which help in the immune responses these are the organs thank you